Hey, what's good, everybody? God bless you guys. I pray that all is well in Jesus' name. Are Christians truly living in and by the Spirit? See, the Bible says to be carnally minded is death. A lot of the issues that people will have in life is that they are living in the flesh. See, in the flesh is what dictates the leading and the guiding and the, and the steering of the individual's lives of the outcomes that manifest and come to be. Because if you sow according to and in the flesh, you're going to reap and benefit from the flesh. But if you sow and walk out by and live in and by the Spirit, you will receive and manifest the results of what it is you're being led by, the Spirit, that will manifest and bring about the end results that become your reality that then establish your mindset from which you live from and do Christianity. See, people think because they have a Bible, because they do devotions, because they go to women's group, because they go to men's Bible study, because they go to church and they like the songs and they raise their hands because it's, it's familiarity, it's familiar to their soul and it makes them feel good, but it has nothing to do with led by faith in trusting in and living by the spirit see because i can go to a new edition concert and feel good too i can go to a bobby brown concert and feel good too i can go to a jay bettis dance and concert and feel good too i can go to a mark anthony concert and feel good too and there's going to be people that are going to be dancing and lifting their hands even in those environments. So just because you walk into an environment and you feel good does not mean you are being led of the Spirit. It very well could represent that people are still carnal and in the flesh. And just because they walk into a building, they call it worship. But is it worship? Or is it self-gratification because it's what you like, because it's familiar to? To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. People will lose life, they'll lose peace, all because they choose to dictate and allow the flesh and their soul, never allowing the sword of the spirit to divide so that your spirit shall lead. Take your soul and your flesh captive and you tell the flesh what to do. You tell the soul what to do and you don't respond to how it is they want to lead your life. See, what would it be like if two individuals, let's just use married couples for example, what would it be like if you actually had two married individuals that crucified themselves daily? What would it be like if you had a man and a woman, a husband and wife that lived according to the Spirit and allowed the leading of the Holy Spirit to correct them and check them when they get in the flesh? See, but we live according to the flesh and we live in this world and we allow the carnal mind and the spiritual forces influencing and also, too, coming in because of sin and because of disobedience. And when it comes to living accountable to the word, they don't want to hear it. And that's the truth. See, because when somebody's carnal and they're in rebellion, which is the sin of witchcraft, they don't want to hear it. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, that's spiritual manipulation. No, it's holding you accountable to what it is you say you are a believer in you say you're a christian so do you not believe are you going to uphold to and stand firm to and rely on christ for the leading of your life or are you going to get in the flesh and then no wonder why all hell is breaking loose 
give no place to the devil. Y'all don't be ignorant of Satan's devices. The devil has studied you. The devil knows the word and he will use the word against you. He knows that if you get in the flesh, he's got you. He knows if you get in the soul, he's got you. But if you live according to the spirit, building yourself up on the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost and allowing the Holy Spirit to keep you in check and to guard your heart and to be humble, faithful, and obedient to the leading of the Spirit. You will experience life and peace, but you can keep on keeping on living a carnal reality and the end result of that is death. Your dying has already begun because of the reality and the mindset from which you allow to lead. Be blessed in Jesus' name.